Cesar Gomez, I'm a senior in Elkhart High School, like I texted you before. And, well, I just want to thank you for doing this for our class. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, okay, yeah. I just want to ask you some questions about your 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 current career title, if you want to explain a little bit about that. Okay. I am an athletic trainer. So I work at Wichita Southeast High School full time, but I work for um, Ascension via Christie. Okay. Ooh, nice. Um, <clears throat> okay. How long have you been there at your job? I've been at my current job at Via Christi for this is my third year. Okay. Um, before that, I was at Wichita Northwest for two years for the same company. And then before that, I was at Wichita State University for two years with my same company. So since I moved to Wichita, I've been with Ascension for about six years. Okay. Oh, nice. And is is that company that you're working for, um, how do I say this? Uh you so you work with different schools on at your career thing on your business it, like, well via christi uh ascension via christi is a big hospital uh, um okay. and they provide they have an outreach athletic training program so uh, they hire athletic trainers to go into different high schools and colleges within Wichita and then the the schools contract with Via Christi to save them a little bit of money to have an athletic trainer. Oh, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, that answers it. All right. Um so why did you uh end up choosing what to be an athletic trainer? What made you go into that career? Well, I always liked science and medicine, the idea of going into medicine. Um, my dad was a nurse and a paramedic, and I liked that idea of emergency medicine. Um, I like change a lot. I, I don't like being in the same place or the same, say, office every single day. I didn't like the idea of being in a clinic or a hospital every day, nine to five or 12 hour shift or whatever. Um, I, I liked sports, you know, growing up. Um, I wasn't always, you know, great at them, but I liked participating. I liked being a part of a team. And so athletic training just kind of allowed me to be in medicine, but also kind of in a little bit more, in my opinion, fun environment. Mm -hmm. I'm on a different, you know, field or court or, you know, venue almost every day. Some days I'm just working practices. Some days I'm covering, games or events. I do contract work as well. I cover camps, you know, in different parts of the country in the summer. So it allows me to be in medicine and practicing that without that kind of mon what I would consider monotony. Mm -hmm. Nice. So um, how many hours do you work a, a week or on a daily basis? What did you say? At my current job, I, I average about 40 hours, 35 to 40. Mm -hmm. um, at the high school, especially being in Wichita, mm -hmm. that's kind of nice because, you know, even if we're on an away game, we're still in Wichita. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. not a lot of travel. Um, I don't get to the school until around 3 p.m. So I'm just there for the after school events. Um, I cover practices until about 6 30 and then I cover any home events through um you know whenever they're done sometimes in there till 10 p.m you know eight nine something like that um and sometimes I cover Saturday events um I did work for about 10 years with college sports before I moved here and my hours at those um jobs were much longer a lot more travel 
um, which was a lot of fun at the time. And I loved it, but I was kind of ready to just kind of have a little bit more work life balance. So I went back to the high school and right now I'm averaging about 40 hours a week, I'd say. Nice. Nice. So it kind of like varies sometimes depends on what the events are or something something like that absolutely yeah like I know you texted me last week I was on the mats at state wrestling so uh, that was kind of a long week um mm -hmm. I worked like a, an 11 hour day on Thursday at the girls finals I worked a lot of the day Saturday um you know spring break I'll go in three days so it'll be a very light week mm -hmm. um August, about August 1st through the end of May or state track, I, I averaged that 35 to 40 hours in the summer. I just go in three days a week. So I, I would say I average 12 to 20 hours a week in the summer. So that's when I do a lot of those contract, um, hours, the extra camps, stuff like that. So I can kind of control that what I decide to take on. Sometimes I'll have, uh, for instance, in two weeks, I'm helping with the NAIA um, basketball tournament that, that they're having here. Okay. And so I'll go in that and work that from like 8 a.m. to 1 for just contract, like hourly pay, PRN pay, and then I'll go to my school at 3. So I can kind of control that extra stuff, which is nice. It's fun to do that, plus it's extra money. Um, but I, I can kind of decide if I want to work more hours or not, but for just my main salary job, August through May, it's about 40 through the summer. It's much less than that. Okay. Makes sense. So, um, what, what sports do you work with? Do you work with all the sports or some sp specific sports or. I'm the only athletic trainer at Southeast. So I cover all of their sports. Okay. Um, in the fall, we have football, volleyball, cross country, um, girls tennis, boys soccer. Um, am I leaving anything out? And then in the in the winter, we have boys and girls basketball, boys and girls wrestling, um, boys swimming, bowling. Oh. I think that's it. Yeah. And then in the spring, we have uh, track and field, girls soccer, baseball and softball, boys tennis. Is that right? Yeah, boys tennis and girls swimming. Um, bowling's just wrapping up now for both boys and girls. So I think that's it. So we have quite a few, I think 13 different sports here wow. at Southeast. So I work with all of them. That's one reason I like being at the high school because, you know, the seasons are always changing. Sometimes I'm at a, you know, cross country meet. Sometimes I'm at a volleyball match or a football game on the sidelines. So it's always changing. When I worked with college sports, I was assigned really one or two sports only. So at Colorado College, I worked there for about eight years. That's division three. And I was with um, boy men's soccer and men's basketball. And then in the spring, we had a light soccer season, but that's pretty much it. I worked a little bit with men's and women's swimming and diving there and men's and women's lacrosse there as well. Um, at Wichita State, I only worked with the track and field team, and there were about 140 athletes on that team. So that was a huge team. I had two graduate assistants also. Um, but now at the high school, I work with everybody. I don't have a graduate assistant, but I do have a Wichita State athletic training student that's with me um, most of the time I'm at the school. So um, I have a bit of a teaching role with her. She's learning how to be an athletic trainer, and it's helpful to have her around. And what and what sport do you really like to to do most in? What what was your favorite sport? What's your favorite sport? To cover as an athletic yeah. trainer or to part? Yeah. 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 Um. Well, I, again, I really like the variety. About the time I get start getting sick of one of the sports or kind of uh, when I'm kind of done, like right now, wrestling and basketball, I'm like, okay, let's get this over with. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of it. So about the time I start feeling like that, 
we oh, switch good. sports. So I do really like that. Um, when I lived in Colorado, uh, I worked with some lacrosse and I still go out there and cover a lacrosse tournament, a big lacrosse, 10 day lacrosse tournament in Vail every year. So that's really fun. I think just because I didn't grow up around lacrosse, obviously we didn't, I never even had heard of it, but it's really fun because it's a collision sport, very, you know, high impact, a little bit dangerous, but it's also, um, it's kind of similar to hockey, I guess. We got a lot of finesse. It's not just, you know, bashing sometimes. I mean, I love football too, but I, I, I think I kind of prefer covering lacrosse to that. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I would say the variety is what I'm, I like, because like I said, sometimes I get a little restless when mm -hmm. something's the same. So I do like that about the high school. Nice. So did you, I don't know, uh, if Miss Houts told me, but did you graduate from Elkhart High School? Yes. Did? Oh, okay. What was I your did. What was your graduating year? Two thousand. Oh, okay. Nice. Right. So how was How big was your graduating class size? I think we had about thirty six. Thirty six. Oh, that's bigger. I think. Than, bigger than ours. We have about yeah. 20, 27, 29 around there. Well, I think, I mean, I think when I was in high school, we were at least 2A, mm -hmm. and I don't think it was very long before I got into high school that we were 3A, maybe. I could be wrong, but I was, I've been surprised to see, it feels like the class, it keeps getting smaller. Oh, right. um, did you, did you participate in any activities throughout high school? Yes, mm. I did a lot of activities. <laughs> Um, I was in the band. I was in FFA. I played softball and ran cross country and track. Uh, is that it? Probably. Um, I did some sports, other sports when I was younger. Like I said, I was not great at sports, <laughs> but I really liked participating in them. Um, but yeah, that's what I loved about Elkhart is that we were able to do a lot of those activities. I don't think there's a lot of places you can go on, you know, a judging trip one day and then, you know, a cross country trip the next or whatever. It's, it was pretty cool. So when, while you were here in Elkhart, what was your favorite thing to do in on a weekend or in a weekday? Or... Uh, I guess I was just, you know, just, hanging out with my friends. I mean, there wasn't a lot to do <laughs> formally. Yeah. Uh, so we just, you know, we would drive around, we would drive to liberal or Guyman to a movie. Um, like I said, I did a lot of activities. I also worked at the library. Mm. So it seemed, seems like looking back, I mean, I did have a weekend here and there, but I was pretty busy. Um, you know, we, I raised livestock for 4-H and FFA, so a lot of our activities revolved around that, you know, mm -hmm. going together to feed our animals or do something um, like that. Uh, but yeah, I would say just whatever my friends and I could get up to, you know, we didn't have uh, social media and, you know, smartphones and things like that. So we were just kind of stuck in town with our cars that, you know, barely went 50. So <laughs> we were really stuck in Elkhart. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of family in town. So just being with people, I guess that was what I did when I had time, just socializing and nice, nice. building relationships. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how we are nowadays. I mean, now we have a, um, a, a theater in, in town. So, so no, yeah, that's no, exciting. Yeah. That's something else we can do. But. Yeah. Going on a date. I mean, not that not that we didn't all know each other very well because we were all in school since we were kindergartners together. But, um, you know, when you go on a date and having to drive all the way an hour to a movie, it's like that's it's yeah. kind of fast tracks a date. Like, man, it gets a little you really get to know somebody on a four hour date. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything from high school that you would regret doing or something? Something like that. What I regret doing. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, let me think. I got in trouble. It might have been my junior year, I think. I was pretty uh I was a pretty straight-laced like 
goody two shoes kid, but my friend Melissa and I got in trouble because on a, a band road trip, we put, um, it was like around the time of speed. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie with the bus that uh, there was a bomb on the bus. Anyway, we put a sign in the, the bus window that said that bomb <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty stupid, but obviously we got in trouble. Somebody actually called 911. The bus got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> and Chad Heron, the bus driver, I will never forget. He was like, had to come out of the bus with his hands up. <laughs> and we got in a lot of trouble. And like I said, I was involved in a lot of activities. So we were constantly, it was in the spring. So I was on a bus trip every other day. So one of my punishments was that we had to sit by um, a coach or a sponsor on every trip. So <laughs> yeah, softball, band, uh, for FFA, every time I had to sit by the teacher. So I really got to know the teachers pretty well. Cam Walsh was with the coach. I always had to sit by for bass or for softball. They probably weren't thrilled anyways, because then they had to sit by me also. Yeah. I got in school suspension. I had to write like a, an apology letter. It was really bad to say. Wow. <laughs> but it seemed uh, funny and dumb at the time, but I definitely shouldn't have done <laughs> It's worth the memories. <laughs> I guess that was like the only time I got, you know, I, like I said, I was pretty straight laced. So everyone was like, wow, Robin, I sit by the coach every time. <laughs> well, one more question. Um, do you have any words of advice for today's high school students or anything like that? Um, well, I would say... Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I think the world is a little smaller now than when I was in high school, you know, the internet and, and you can get on and learn about different things, obviously a lot easier than we could, I guess, but um, just getting out, living out of town, out of state, traveling abroad, I was able to, to go on some trips with, with college teams that I never would have probably been able to do or never thought of doing and just exploring the country and a couple other countries. And it just made my world so much smaller and, and fun and increased my curiosity about it. So I would say that any way that you can experience other places, other cultures with a really open mind, um, do that because, you know, I, like I said, my I really enjoyed my time in Elkhart, um, time in college, um, and graduate school. Um, but the more I started looking out, you know, my world kind of started to expand a little bit. The I don't know, I guess I just kind of learned a lot more about myself that way. So I would say anybody that can do that should travel and learn about other cultures and places. Actually, I have. Uh, one more question. So uh, where did you go to school for your, your education or to be an athletic trainer? Um, I went at first to Garden City Community College, and I actually was a student athletic trainer there. So I got my associate degree in science, um, got a lot of my prereqs out of the way, uh, but I also worked with the teams um, for the college. And then I went to Kansas State to finish my degree and I got um a uh, bachelor's degree in kinesiology and a bachelor's degree in athletic training and then I took my boards so you have to take um, a national examination and got certified as an athletic trainer and then I actually worked for three years as an athletic trainer before I went to grad school and mm -hmm. Um, that's when I moved out to Colorado was for grad school and went to the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. Um, they, I, I got my master's in sports medicine with an emphasis in athletic training. They also had a strength and conditioning track in that. So I kind of took some classes there, but my emphasis was athletic training. Okay. Nice. Well, that's, that, that, that's it. I think that should be it. All right. I just want to Are thank you. 
Thank Are you. Are you doing any sports at yeah, Elkhart? I, I play uh basketball and baseball, but my favorite sport's baseball. That's what I'm trying to do for go to college to play. Okay. Awesome. Well, I keep up with the baseball team a little bit because my cousin is the coach. I'm well, Amanda is my cousin. She's married to David. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So I keep up with them as much as I can for you guys, because it's kind of fun to see you guys being so successful under David's tutelage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's a good, he's a good guy and a good coach. Yeah. He's pretty good. Well, I, that should be it. Well, I want to thank you for doing this. Yeah, thank you're you welcome. For, um, yeah. Thanks for reaching out. It's kind of fun. For sure. Thank you. All right, Caesar, you're welcome.